Hi everyone children, this is your health science teacher educational YouTube channel. Today we will discuss grade 9 lesson chapter 11. Let us protect the features which affect our appearance. Let us protect the features which affect our appearance. Chapter 11. Take your textbook and turn to page number 11. Let's read the first sentence. Our body is a wonderful biological creation made to live and continue life. It's a nice phrase. Is it? Our body is a wonderful biological creation made to live and continue life. So, see what is your responsibility? Your responsibility to lead a healthy life by protecting appearance because your appearance contributes more to your personality. So, your features affect your appearance and your appearance contributes to your personality. So, you have to protect your features, your sensory organs. Then you have to know about these sensory organs, what their functions. Why are those important to us? Children, you know, there are many organ systems in our body. Uh, digestive system or alimentary canal, then uh, respiratory system, circulatory system, excretory system, reproductive system and our skeletal system. Uh, these are some uh, body systems. You have learned some of them in your previous grades. And sensory organs are the organs that help us to detect our surroundings. So we usually respond to these stimuli so, uh, our sensory organs identify or detect these stimuli uh, occur in our surrounding and pass the messages to our brain. In this chapter, you will learn about skin, hair, teeth, lips, eyes and ears because those are the organs that is help for your external appearance. First, we will see about your skin. It is the largest organ in your body. It protects your whole body and covers it, gives shape and external appearance. Then your skin shows adaptations, adjustments. Okay. These adaptations, some of these adaptations are, uh, some places in your skin are thicker than other places because these are the places to expose to the friction like your soles, our feet and palms in your hands. See, these places are thicker than other places. Other places not very thick like uh, your feet and soles. Then hair follicles in uh, your skin protects your body and uh, skin has an ability to regenerate and get rid of all skin. Uh, then the skin in different persons, different, uh, some people may have dry, some have oily, some have sensitive or some might have normal skin. Then now we will learn functions of our skin. Uh, you can read them on the screen or if you want you can write down. Uh, first one, give an external appearance to the body. Already know that so far we have uh, discussed that. Uh, then protects the internal organs. Then our skin protects our internal organs. Helping get, getting rid of excretory material such as sweat. Then the, some salt and excess water uh, in our body. Those are toxins when they accumulate more in our body. So we uh, remove these from the body. Then the sweat is an excretory product. Then our skin here act as an excretory organ, uh, helping excretory uh, materials to remove. Then uh, control the internal body temperature because we are uh, warm blooded, exothermic uh, organisms, uh, mammals and birds. So we have to keep the steady body temperature so our uh, skin uh, helps to control the internal body temperature. Then as a sensory organ, the skin reacts to heat, cold and pain from the external environment. 
then helps in producing vitamin D for from sunlight because we absorb calcium to our bones uh, and to our teeth. Uh, then uh, we need vitamin D. Uh, without vitamin D, our body can't absorb calcium. So uh, the sunlight is a natural source that we can gain vitamin D. Then our skin helps in producing vitamin D from the sunlight. That is a uh, those are the important uh, functions of our skin. Now, uh, children, you know how skin is important to us. Then you are cleanliness. You have to concern about your personal hygiene. Otherwise, if you fail to maintain your personal hygiene, you might get skin diseases. We'll see what are the skin related diseases. You can see them on the screen. I will read one by one. Pityritis, scabies, eczema, sweat rash, skin cancers, leukoderma, psoriasis, allergic dermatitis. Pityritis, alvang, scabies, panohori, eczema, dagakushta, sweat rash, dhadi bibili, skin cancers, same pirika, Leukoderma, Tutukabara, Psoriasis, Potukabara, Allergic Dermatitis, Asadana, Skin uh, Related Diseases. Now we we'll see preventive methods or healthy ways of preventing skin diseases. Okay, you have to take nutrition food. Uh, you already know vitamin D, vitamin A, minerals, protein. You have to consume these. Uh, the food that contains these micro and macro nutrients for a healthy skin. Uh, then drink adequate amount of water, usually 7 to 8 glasses. So you might take 1.5 to 2 liters per day. That also depends on your body weight. But you have to drink adequate water. This water should be clean water. Then keep your Skin clean, that is to maintain your cleanliness. Okay. Then we will see some uh, good habits. You can bath daily or you can wash your body twice a day. Uh, you have to use quality product to mm -hmm. wash your body. Uh, then uh, if you want to use bactericidal soap, you have to obtain medical advices because there are some uh, useful bacteria present on our skin. Uh, these bactericidal soap might kill those uh, useful bacteria. So, you have to take medical advices before you use them. The next one is protect your skin from the harsh sunlight. Early morning sunlight is health because uh, it is a natural source uh, to gain vitamin D. But a strong sunlight uh, has ultraviolet rays that is harmful to our skin. Then our skin also can get burned uh, from the strong sunlight. So by uh, applying uh, protect sun protection creams, by wearing suitable clothes, and you have to you can carry uh, an umbrella when you go out. Then these are the some methods that you can follow to protect your skin from harsh sunlight. What is the next point? Refraining from applying unnecessary makeup creams. Okay, you may try out many makeup and creams for your skin or maybe various purposes but many of them actually most of them may contain toxins. These toxins uh, may cause decoloration of your skin, not only decoloration, it may lead until uh, skin cancer. So, if you apply, if you're going to apply these creams and other makeup, it is uh, a good way to uh, use these things under medical advisors and approved products, good quality products. Uh, that is to 
refraining from applying unnecessary makeup and cream. Protect from accidents also helps to keep your appearance as well because during accidents your skin can be injured uh, due to falls, scrapes, burns and cuts. Uh, if you can get cure from these injuries but uh, the scars on your skin will remain for a long time. These scars are not good for your appearance and you won't be suffered from uh, these scars if you can minimize injuries can be happen to your skin. Next, our hair. Hair also affects our appearance. Our brain is protected by our skull. Uh, it is located in our skull. So hair gives protection uh, for our skull and as well as the appearance. When, then when you were in part, your hair helps you to maintain your body temperature by reducing the loss of heat to your surface area of the head. Then uh, we all know hair grows and some of uh, hair falls off every day. The live section of the hair follicle is inside your skin and the section that above the skin is not allowed so you can comb and style your hair as your desire. Now we'll see uh, hair diseases, diseases related to hair, dandruff, tinea capitis, psoriasis, head life, dandruff, sorry, tinea capitis, undugo uang kama kila pisingalengkeno, psoriasis, kotu cover. Head life, Now we will see what are the healthy, healthy habits that we can follow to prevent from the diseases that we discussed earlier. Um, then eat food enriched with vitamins and minerals. Then uh, food like green leaves, fruits, uh, green vegetables. Uh, these are the food that uh, contain more vitamins and minerals. Uh, then you have to Add these food to your daily meal. Uh, then you have to keep your hair clean. Uh, you can bath daily. Uh, then the, when you go out to protect your hair from harsh sunlight, then you can cover your hair and you can wear a cap or a hat or a, you can take an umbrella. Uh, then you have to use recommended hair oil and cleansers. After you use cleansers, you have to wash your hair well. Then uh, when you use hair products, those products should be standard products uh, with uh, very less chemicals. Uh, then you have to prevent from artificial hair styles because uh, the chemicals that use when you Put these hair styles, they are not good for your hair. Uh, then always you have to mindful to use a standard hair product uh, the, to protect your uh, hair and as well as skin uh, of your head from these uh, diseases related to hair. Then we will see about nails. Nails are formed by thickening of skin on the fingers and toes that is to protect your fingertips and toes from the friction. Uh, then the, the tip of your nail is not alive. The start of the nail on the fingers is known as the nail root or a matrix that is the live section of your nail. Now we see some diseases associated with nails. Nail diseases, fungal diseases, blisters, uh, and nail bed infection. Fungal diseases, Dilirroga, blisters, Saravagedi, nail bed infection, Kani, near uh, Malakadi, Pasavini. Next, what are the healthy, healthy habits to protect your nails? As well, you have to uh, take balanced, healthy diet. And uh, you have to keep your nails by 
cut in them short uh, then when you cut them it is important to know uh, to protect your nail bed then uh, protect the nails from accidents without uh, damaging them then also do not bite your nails uh, then nail biting is a bad habit uh, through these you can get uh, infected by germs and other pathogens by entering your stomach next we'll see about lips 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 your lips are the um, most vital feature that affects your appearance the lips surrounded the mouth lips help for the appearance for your face and to control your expressions to talk and pronounce word correctly and to enter food into your mouth for ingestion then uh, that is why you have to uh, protect your lips uh, that is affect for the appearance then we we'll see what are the diseases related to the lips cancers of lips inflammation of lips cleft lips and injuries on the lips those are some diseases cancers of lips tinica irangata inflammation of lips yani devilla asadara wage then cleft lips that means vedunu tol injuries to the lips i can solvalta siduvana ರೋಗ ಅನಂತರ ಮೇನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸ್ಯೂಮ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅಡಿಕೇಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದೆನ್ ಅವಾಯ್ಡ್ ಈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಹಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲಿಪ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲ್ refrain from taking harmful drugs and alcohol then another thing is refrain from chewing beads or using products of arecanate and tobacco because it may cause cancer uh, it is very harmful to your lips and your mouth then students will uh, see about our teeth uh, then the teeth help for mechanical digestion of food that means Uh, to be absorbed to the blood food needed to be break down into small particles so our teeth by uh, cutting tearing chewing and grinding them do mechanical digestion then uh, uh, we have two sets of uh, teeth first we get male for deciduous teeth uh, then while uh, falling off these teeth we get our 32 permanent Teeth. we had 20 male for deciduous teeth there are four types of teeth fall incisors canine premolars and molars when we see uh, the dentition uh, there are 15 uh, teeth are in the upper jaw and the 16 are in the lower jaw then uh, we had incisors canine and premolars in our deciduous teeth we didn't have any molars in our deciduous teeth but in the permanent teeth there are uh, 32 permanent teeth in these four types uh, incisors canine premolars and molars you can see their shapes and uh, their functions incisors to cut food canine that is grabs and tear food then Honey wasps have very sharp uh, canines because they have to tear flesh of other animals. Then free molars uh, to grind and chew food, molars to grind food. Then we see what are the diseases related to teeth. Diseases related to teeth. Decaying of teeth, tooth wear, decoloration of teeth. gum disease crooked teeth and dental traumatic injuries dental traumatic injuries can be anathuru nisa situwana dattwata situwana haani crooked teeth can be dattal vikurti dattwi dime gum disease idruma stroke decoloration of teeth dattwuru anadime 